pre-COVID, and nobody okay. thought that was even possible. There we are. We're getting ready uh, the to only jobs live. he created are for illegal immigrants and bounce back jobs, the bounce back from the COVID. He has not done a good job. He's done a poor job, and inflation is killing our country. It is absolutely killing well, us. There we are. We're getting ready. Uh, Thank you, President Biden. Created are for well, look, the greatest economy in the world. He, he's the job. only one that thinks that, I think. I don't know anybody else who thinks he's the greatest economy in the world. He has not done a good job. He's done a poor and, job, and inflation you know, is killing our country. Is it that, is that, absolutely uh, killing us. We found ourselves in a situation where his economy is world. He rewarded the wealthy. He had the largest tax cut in American history, $2 trillion. He raised a deficit larger than any president has in any one term. He's the only president other than Herbert no, Hoover who's had lost more YouTube. jobs than he had when he began, since Herbert Hoover. The idea that he did something that was significant in the military. You know, when he was president, they were still killing people in Afghanistan. He didn't do anything about that. When he was president, we were still finding ourselves in a position where you had a notion that yeah, you were this safe country. Mm -hmm. The truth is, I'm the only president this century that doesn't have any, this this decade, that done any troops dying anywhere yeah, we're in the world on like too. he okay, did. Nice. Uh, president Trump, uh, I want to follow up if I can. You Am want I allowed to, to respond to him? Well, I'm going to ask you a follow-up. Okay, you so can do whatever you want with the minute that we give you. Um, I, I want to follow up. You, you want to impose a 10 percent tariff on all goods coming into the U.S. How will you that. ensure that that doesn't drive prices even higher? It's not going to drive them higher. It's just going to cost countries that have been ripping us off for years, like China and many others, in all fairness to China. It's going to just force them to pay us a lot of money, reduce our deficit tremendously, and give us a lot of power for other things. But he would, he made a statement. The only thing he was right about is I gave you the largest tax cut in history. I also gave you the largest regulation cut in history. That's why we had all the jobs. And the jobs went down, and then they yeah, bounced back, and he's taking good. credit for okay. bounce back jobs. So you yeah, can't do that. Late. He you also are, said he inherited 9 percent inflation. No, he inherited now. almost no inflation, X. and it stayed that way for 14 live months, YouTube, and then it Twitch. blew up under his leadership Lying because kick. they spent money like a bunch of people that didn't know what they were doing and they don't know what they were doing. It was the worst, probably the worst administration in history. There There's never been. And as far there, as Afghanistan is concerned, I was getting out of Afghanistan, but we were getting out with dignity, with strength, with power. He got out. It was the most embarrassing day in the history of our country's life. <laughs> President Trump, <laughs> over the last uh, eight like years, how, uh, under both of your administrations, the national is, debt you know, soared I mean, to record highs. And according to stuff, a new nonpartisan but... analysis, President <laughs> Trump, your administration approved $8.4 trillion in new debt. Well, so far, President Biden, you've approved $4.3 trillion in new debt. So, former President Trump, many of the tax cuts that you signed into law are set to expire next year. You want to extend them and go even further, you say. With the U.S. facing trillion-dollar deficits next, and record cool. debt, why should top earners and corporations pay so even less in taxes than they do now? Because the tax cuts spurred um, the greatest economy that, that we've ever YouTube seen just we'll prior see. to COVID. And even after COVID, it was yeah, so strong that we were able to get through YouTube. COVID it's much cool. better than just about any other country. But we spurred, that tax spurred. Now, when we cut the taxes, as an example, the uh, corporate tax was cut down to 21 percent from 39 percent plus beyond that. Uh, we took in more revenue with much less tax, and companies were bringing back trillions of dollars back into our country. The country was going like never before, and we were ready to start paying down debt. We were ready to start using the liquid gold right under our feet, the oil and gas right under our feet. We were going to have something that nobody else has had. We got hit with COVID. We did a lot to fix it. I gave him an unbelievable situation with all of the therapeutics and all of the things that we came up with. We gave him something great. Remember, more people died under his administration, even though we had largely fixed it. More people died under his administration than our administration, and we were right in the middle of it, something which a lot of people don't like to talk about. But he had far more people dying in his administration. He did the mandate, which is a disaster, mandating it. The vaccine went out. He did a mandate on the vaccine, which is the thing that people most objected to about the vaccine. And he did a very poor job, just a very poor job. And I will tell you, not only poor there, but throughout the entire world, we're no longer respected as a country. They don't respect our leadership. They don't respect the United States anymore. We're like a third world nation between weaponization of his election, trying to go after his yeah, political opponent, sure in order. all of the so things he's like done, we've become like a third so. world nation. And it's a shame. The damage he's done to our country, 
and I'd love to ask him and Will why he allowed millions of people to come in here from prisons, jails, and mental institutions yeah. to come into our country and yeah. destroy our country. See, that, that's President a good question. Trump, we will because get to immigration Biden's later big in this thing block. Is President labor, Biden, right? uh, I want to give you an opportunity and, to respond and, to this question about the national workers. debt. He the House bringing in millions of people to drive down wages, advance workers' interests. Number two, he got two so. trillion dollar tax cut benefited the very wealthy. When I'm yeah, in the okay, that's taxes, true. For example, Trump did do that. We have a thousand but trillionaires in America. I mean, he had a good point America. about the border. And, and Biden's incredibly in weak on the border. Where so. They in fact pay 8.2 percent in taxes. If they just paid 24 percent. 25 percent, either one of those numbers. They've raised 500 million dollars, billion dollars, I should say, in a 10-year period. We'd be able to right wipe out his debt. We'd be able to help make sure that all those things we need to do, child so care, So Biden's definitely kind of stuttered sure over himself. Strength, I, I see this happening system, a lot in this making debate. Making sure that we're able to Trump, make every single solitary Trump just carries himself with more energy, uh, uh, and he doesn't for what stutter as much. The, uh, Even though he repeats the, himself the a lot, it comes across as based um, and chatly, whereas when Biden does it, comes across with, as uh, uh, dittering and look, not strong. So, if, See, look, he, he doesn't even know what he's going to say. Thank you, President uh, Biden. President Trump? Well, he's right. He did beat Medicare. He beat it to death, and he's destroying Medicare because <laughs> all of these people are coming in. So he just has more energy. They're putting them on Medicare. They're putting them on I, I don't even Social agree with Security. Him here, but it's very Social clear Security. Trump this man is going is to single-handedly destroy Social right Security. Now. These millions and millions of people coming in, they're trying to put them on Social Security. He will wipe out Social Security. He will wipe out See, Medicare. The thing is, that's not exactly true. So he was true. right in the way he finished that sentence. They're not exactly and it's eligible shame. for What's it. What's happened to our country but in the last four years is not entirely years wrong. Is not they are to bringing be millions of uh, people countries, to uh, I'm friends drive with a down lot of people. They cannot believe what rents. happened to the United so, States of America. It's We're a no half longer truth. respected. And, and they, Trump can they make don't a half like truth us. We give them everything they want, and they they think we're stupid. They think we're very stupid people. In what we're doing Biden for doesn't. other countries, and they do nothing for us. What this man has done is Checking out how absolutely the criminal. Are going here, Thank so. you, President Trump. Dana? This is the first presidential election since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. This morning, the court ruled yeah, on yet another abortion on case, That's good. temporarily so, allowing emergency I, I just abortions have to, periodically to continue monitor in Idaho. This, because I, this is the first time we're multi-streaming. Former President That's not Trump. A test. You take credit for the decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, which returned the issue of abortion to the states. Correct. However, the federal government still plays a role in whether or not women have access to abortion pills. <clears throat> They're used in about two-thirds of all abortions. As president, would you block abortion medication? First of all, the Supreme Court just approved the abortion pill, and I agree with their decision to have done that and I will not block it. And if you look at this whole question that you're asking, a complex but not really complex, 51 years ago, you had Roe v. Wade, and everybody wanted to get it back to the states, everybody, without exception. Democrats, Republicans, yeah, that, see, liberals, that's not conservatives. True, that's everybody not true. It doesn't even make sense. You want to have a consistent one And what I did is place. I put three great Supreme Court justices right. on Le the court, leaving it to the and they states to basically in means favor of you're born Roe in a red Wade state, and moving well, it back tough to the luck. states. You're this born is in a blue state, that whatever. You basically wanted. have two countries. Now, ten years ago or so, they started talking point. about how many weeks and how many this, getting into other things. But every two legal very scholar, slunky, arbitrary the world, the most respected, wanted it brought back to the just... states. I did that. Now the states are working it out. If you look at Ohio, it was a decision that was it was a, an end result. See, that's going to be memeable. Biden doesn't look too great there. Biden looks kind of Kansas, I would say the same thing. Uh, Texas but he should, is different, he should, Florida he should carry is different, himself with, but they're uh, all making their own decisions right energy, now. And right you know? now, the states control Not react, that's like, the vote of the horrified. people. Not that's, that's like how Ronald you get Reagan, like, uh, I believe in the ben Shapiro exceptions. types I am a person to do the, the and triggered, frankly, woke meme, I think it's important to believe basically. in the exceptions. Some people I, I have to follow your heart, some people don't believe in that. Trump doesn't really do that, he doesn't really react that way. He just kind of saves it and he charges it as his opponent. That's what Biden should be. Some people don't. Follow your heart, but... You have to get elected also. Uh, I think part of the problem, though, is that Biden's with other things. You got to get elected. Definitely deteriorating. The problem they have is they're radical because they will Trump's almost take as the old. life like of a child in the eighth like the month, the ninth age, month, so. and even after birth. After birth.